Hi, I'm Janine Pfeiffer, and my doctorate is in ecology from the University of California at Davis. I'm a lecturer at San Jose State University, where I teach a class on nature and world cultures. This class focuses on biocultural diversity. Biocultural diversity is a term recognizing the intimate and intrinsic link between biological diversity and cultural diversity. Biological diversity can include landscapes, seascapes, bioregions, ecosystems, habitats, community assemblages, functional groups, species or varieties of species, whereas cultural diversity can include languages or intangible traditions like spiritual beliefs, songs, narratives, stories, sayings, and it can also include tangible traditions, such as agricultural practices, ways of knowing or existing in the environment, socioeconomic traditions, foods, um, medicinal plants, or it can include one of my favorite topics, which is entomophagy or insect eating. And with biological diversity and cultural diversity, when we make those connections, we are better able to sustain the most important parts of what it means to be a human. Here on planet Earth, with connections to both our local environment and a global environment, when we better understand and appreciate biological species that make life possible, and we better understand cultural traditions that give life meaning, we have a richer life, not just for ourselves as individuals or for our households or our families, but for our local, regional, global, and international communities. I'll give you an example from my own fieldwork. I did my dissertation on 100 different taxa of edible fruit in Indonesia. And these fruit, which were edible, were also useful in many other ways. They were used to build houses. They were used to make baskets. They're used to make plant medicines. Uh, they were used in stories. They were used in rituals. And these 100 native plant taxa, although they were present throughout the local environment of the tribal community, the Taro, with whom I worked and continue to work in Eastern Indonesia, they weren't really showing up in people's diets anymore because folks lived too far away from the forest or they weren't planting these trees in their gardens anymore, or elders who knew about how to use the plants, how to use the fruits, were dying off without sharing their knowledge. But by re-recognizing the importance of these 100 different types of edible fruits, by doing research, community-based research, participatory research about these native fruits, and then bringing the traditions back and the respect for elders back in the community. 10 years later, 15 years later, this community has transformed. They are conserving their biocultural diversity and they are living much richer lives. I encourage you to check out videos here on my playlist that deal with biocultural diversity in animated story films, in micro documentaries, and in educational recordings.